Good. Now, some of you are aware of the, the sequence that I did with you all some time ago, and it was based on e Egyptian postures, and this is um, something where I found very effective and interesting how they work with static positions using certain shapes of the arms and the legs, and it really works very effectively to the energetic system of the body. And I'd like to introduce you to a couple of them in these um, short sessions, okay? Good. So the first one that we're going to work with is known as the heart pulsar. And this is down to strengthen the energetic space in the heart. And we're going to hold this for a couple of seconds, maybe a minute longer, and we'll work with this. Now, the standing position, when we do this heart pulsar, pulsar exercise, standing up, and I'd like you to keep your left foot in front, right foot behind. And feet are hip distance. Okay, not one in front of the other, feet are hip distance. Left leg is in front, right leg is right foot behind, but feet are hip distance apart. Not a narrow position, that's what I mean. <laughs> so once you've come here, left foot in front, right foot behind. Again, get a sense of the weight in the front, get a sense of the weight in the back. The middle would be a lot more easy to connect to us. You've come there, then make a fist with your hand, a simple fist holding it. In the practice of uh, yoga, this is known as Mushti Mudra. Mushti, yeah? And Mushti Mudra is uh, where you generate energy in the, in the, using the hands. Now, each finger represents an element. You bring them together, it begins to generate energy. And you'll notice that as you practice this. You feel heat build up in the hands, you're going to notice the heartbeat increase and so on as you hold this position. So you hold the fist and you place any hand it could be, one on the center of your chest and the other in front of it. Again, noticing the hands are placed one, or the fists are placed one in front of the other. Now as you come in this position, I'd like you to keep the position that way, keep your shoulders relaxed, keep the weight between the legs. And then you may close your eyes for a moment and get a sense of the shape that you're standing in. Now, the, where your hands are placed is the energetic space of your heart. Okay? Not the physical place, but the energetic space. And this is what we're working with. Here. Now, as you've got this uh, placement there, notice how possibly your heartbeat will increase. Possibly notice that if that happens, and this is the effect of the mudra. You might also feel heat or warmth build up in the hands and the chest region. We're going to hold this for a couple of minutes and make you repeat it. So for now, just holding this there and experience it and pay attention to your breath moving down towards the lower stomach region. Yeah? Good. and then from there, you can release the mudra and place your hands on your chest like this. So you're going to cross your right, whichever arm is on top, just cross the wrist and place your palms against the chest like this. So make sure the palms are held up there. And you're going to rest it there. You're going to feel that heat or the warmth from the hands and to the body. And I like to see this a couple of things which are helpful here. One is that, of course, the warmth that you feel that you generated has a healing effect. There's also that touch, a touch against your chest. Okay, and we'll repeat this one more time. Okay, make a fist with your hands, place it on the center of your chest. Hold the position. Allow the breath to move down towards your lower stomach region. Notice that warmth that builds up. Notice the pulse, the heartbeat could increase a little bit. This is how you strengthen the energetic space of the heart. Good, and then release the mudra and place the palms on the chest once again. The hands rest on the chest. Notice the warmth. The touch. Experience this for a moment. Perfect. And then release your hands down. Good, and we complete this short exercise. Yeah. Um, 
again, uh, since this is a short snippet of one exercise, and if you like to practice something else after this, you know, go back to the other days and uh, feel free to choose whichever video you prefer. Good, all right. See you again.